as I was preparing this morning, I was thinking about the many ways in which I do love. I love my cats. I love my family. I love Sunrise Ranch. But if I love it just as Jane Anna Trini, it's pretty simple and also pretty um, um, changeable. You know, if you misbehave, I might not love you as much. When I love you from the will and the power of God, that is unmoving. And I've had the experience of being touched by that love, totally changed my life when someone loved me that way. And all of a sudden I, I saw and knew something that was always present, but never touched and felt. And then something in me just blossomed. It just lit up into um, possibility of that kind of communion being a daily activity, being the reality of love. In the Pulse of Spirit, David talks about the control that the sun has. And I think that's the, what I'm speaking about when I talk about the superpower of love. We're talking about love that is always in control of itself. Never um, being changed by circumstance. And sometimes for people that can seem tricky because you might be in love with a person, right? And then that falls apart or it gets iffy, yucky, bad, really bad. And then you just think, well, that was love. That was love. And then you have to figure out how to love again as the truth of yourself. And I have found, you know, in being a, a teacher, a minister, whatever, just a person, to having conversations with people about how to love from the, with the will of the father and the mother from the highest mountain. It's very different than the love of my personality, the love of my culture, the love of my um, um, circumstance. You ever not feel like being very loving? There are times where you just don't feel well, so you don't feel loving. And the love of the Father, the highest love, the superpower of love we have is not stopping. It doesn't stop just because you don't feel like it. You are still loved at that level, no matter what. And that level, love is what's animating you. It is what you have to give in every circumstance. The superpower that is unchanging, that, that is connected to the will of the Father. I know that's a, a masculine word, but I don't want to uh, fuss about language or be binary or all that stuff today. I just feel the power of that from the highest mountain. These are some of the things I wrote down that have come to me since I've known that. The ability to share it. Because once you know it, it doesn't belong to you. It is you, but it is not identified by your personality. And once you know it, and you know it in another person, the communion there is unbreakable because it is one love. It's the superpower that human beings have been given. Animal, my, I mean, my cats love me, especially when I feed them. But you know, there, there's a way in which their purity of love is different because it's not consciously choosing to stay. They don't have to make a conscious choice. They're just built that way. Human beings have a choice. So once it's touched, it can be in, we can be in communion with it constantly. And when we're not in communion with it, nothing's happening. There's no continued ongoing creation. So I have touched it. I have been changed by it. I have been humbled by it. I have been motivated by it. I have been appreciative of it. I have surrendered to it. And I have been owned by it. This life does not belong to me but I get to enjoy it. While I'm in this flesh, I've been given the thrilling opportunity to allow the power of the sun, I've, the sun being so full of energy and in full, constant control. If it decided to have a bad day, we'd be annihilated, right? And we have the experience of annihilating creative processes when we're not paying attention to our commitment to that highest love to the superpower of love. Sometimes I think it would be easier to have some of the powers of the animals, stripes, 
claws, spots, speed. <laughs> In some ways, being a chiropractor for all the years I have, I also know the superpower of the bodies we have. You know, I teach anatomy when we teach attunement and the superpower of the body being able to accommodate the spirit of the Father. We can run, we can see, we can smell, we can live fully. But to be the creators we're designed to be, we need to be honoring the superpower we've been given and honoring it in each other.